Hey, what's going on? Too quick for you coming to my next video. This is my weekly update and shout out video. I'm going to go ahead and start out with my shout out. This week's shout out goes out to Year Round RC Shea. He has a Bandit, a Slash 4x4, an Apprentice S15E, which is a plane, a Nano Proto X, which is a, a quadcopter, and then he also uh, is building a Rustler. He's almost got completed. He does mods, reviews, flights, unboxings, runs, installs, updates, uh, does beach runs, shout outs. He also does giveaways and talking about giveaways, he actually has a giveaway going right now. Uh, it's actually a really, really good giveaway so definitely go check it out. Uh, he, it's going to go until he hits 100 subscribers. Once he does hits 100 subscribers, he's going to do the giveaway. Um, good stuff, brushed ESC motor. Uh, some RPM Nerf bars. There's a, a Bandit body, brand new, still needs to be painted. Uh, and then there's still even more stuff. Stickers, channel decal stickers, uh, you know, a bunch of stuff. Definitely go check it out for sure. Hit the subscribe the subscribe button and uh, enter that that giveaway for sure. So that's my uh, shout out this week. Year round RC Shea. Make sure you go over there, hit the subscribe button, like I just said. If you want a shout out, make sure you ask for one in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to give you one, you know that. Um, and then before I start talking about what's going on with me, uh, I want to bring up a YouTube brother out there, Mr. Tuner89. Um, a lot of you guys more than likely have seen his video already. If you haven't, please, please go check it out um, and, you know, wish him his best and, you know, just give him some, some kind words. I'm sure he could really, really use it right now at this time. Um, he had a rustler. Yeah, I'm saying had it. it it's disappointing. He he had a rustler with the eight scale sidewinder system in it. He had his phone in there, brand new batteries. And he did a speed run, drove it past him. Uh, car stopped in the middle of the road. You know, his RC car stopped in the middle of the road, and I guess he was going to turn around. He had no 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 response, no signal. He ended up something ended up smoking and caught the car on fire, the entire car, yeah, burnt to nothing, just a pile of melted plastic, um, total complete loss, including his phone that he was using as GPS, um, I, like I said, feel real, real bad for you, Tuner, if you're watching, I, you know, again, my condolences, I, I, I apologize, that, that, that sucks, um, I've had some bad crashes taking me out, um, not total losses, so, you know, you're, you're to the next extreme, um, I know RC Kiddo, he's had a total loss, and you know, it, it, you, you can, don't throw the towel in, you know, rebuild, rebuild, uh, there's all kinds of brothers out here, and sisters, you know, Poppy, I already heard her saying that she had parts she's going to donate, you know, I'm sure more people are going to be more than happy to get you back on the road pulling that trigger, um, so yeah, you know, just go check out Mr. Tuner 89 and uh, hit that video up and, you know, just give him some kind words. Okay, so now what's going on with my RC projects, my RC world? Uh, you see the often in front of you. Yeah, I took it out yesterday. Did a speed run with it. Or yeah, I did a speed run with it. Uh, it was more testing than actually high speed. You know, trying to get get me some. It was more uh, just making sure things are going good and uh, pulled 98 point something. And then I took it out today again. I, I did post the 98 something video. I took it out today and only got it up to 97 one, I believe. Didn't post that one. If you want to see it, let me let me know and I will post it. But I don't plan on posting that video. It's just a 97 mile an hour run. Um, plan on going back out tomorrow, Saturday, to the spot in Lathrop, uh, the place where I first broke 100 miles an hour with the Rustler, and I broke 120 with this one. I plan on going there and uh, seeing if you know what kind of good number I could pull, put down. I'm excited, you know, pretty pumped. That's that's why I wasn't really pulling the throttle too hard today and yesterday because I wanted to make sure, you know, it it it, it it's drivable. <laughs> it's not broke. Uh, I wanted to make sure, you know, it's it's ready to go. So yesterday's runs pretty good, pretty good. You know, no complaints too much. You know, car running good. These tires I really like. Like I said, they're holding up great. Uh, the body's working out real nice. Um, but today, when I was pulling the trigger, the car is running, it's pulling to the right. 
under under acceleration, you know, under under load, under you know, get, getting some some speed going. So I'm having to pull. I'm having to adjust the trigger or, or the thr the steering by I'm I'm holding full left to keep the car going straight. So again, that was keeping me from really pulling down the trigger. So what I started thinking is I never adjusted the toe and the camber on these tires. I have the RPM toe and camber gauge. They're right here, actually. There's the camber gauge. And there's the toe gauge. So I will be doing that tonight before tomorrow's run to get the car a little more dialed in. Um, the car's running good, though. The car is definitely running good. I'm, I'm happy with how the car's running. Uh, I just need to get get it going straight on its own a little better. Um, so look for that speed run coming tomorrow. Well, I'll be I'll be running it tomorrow. I might more than likely won't be updating uploading it till Sunday, because I won't be home probably till late Saturday evening. Um, but anyways, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Like I said, to get out there. Um, let me pull you off the stand. I want to tell you what happened last week. Was I got my GPS still on? Was uh. When I when I got the car back together and I said I was going to run it, then I didn't get a run in until yesterday. Was I, I took the car out to go get a run? Um, well, I did testing in front of my house, up and down, up and down the street, nice and you know working perfectly fine. Get out to go do a, a test run, get the car about about 30, 30, 40 feet away from me, then the car just stalled out. Um, I did set the fail safe, which I was you know happy to do because it just stalled out, came to a stop. Which not sure what would happen if it would have wouldn't have been fail safe, but the car came to a stop, and uh, I ended up having to walk over to it. And when I got there, it was beep 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 beep, um, just beeping away. My ESC light was just flashing away, um, but my BEC. Well, what I ended up finding out after I brought it home and really looked into it and dove into it and checked it out, my BEC wasn't working anymore somehow, some way. It drove fine up and down the up and down in front of the house. Then drove, like I said, about 30, 40 feet. And then it went out, and that was it. That so I did end up having to get a new BEC, put that in, um, and like I said, no no problems since then. So these batteries still need to be charged for tomorrow's run. I'm excited about that. Uh, once again, if you can't tell, yeah, I'm, I am really pumped. So look for those speed runs and. Before I let you go, this week's colors I've gotten was PS28, which is fluorescent green, PS32, which is Corsa gray, and PS33, which is cherry red. So those are the three colors I got this week. And then also got a couple packages in, a couple packages in. One will be unenveloped next. The other one will not be until uh, I do my body. This is a GGJ Fly Guy. Look for those maskings. Those are I haven't even opened it, but I know they're pretty nice from what the samples he sent over. You know, emailed me. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. So look for an un unenveloping coming up next, and then I want to start my show body for my wrestler, my VXL wrestler. I'm sorry, for my silver bullet, not my BXL, my silver bullet, show body. All right, so hope you guys enjoyed the update. Like I said, if you want a shout out, make sure you ask for one in the comments below, and I'll talk to you guys later. All right, peace.